Nothing makes you entitled to be able to get anything for free. What's going on, Ping A Tribe? So in this video, we're gonna talk about how we get to do things for free. There's a sleeping kid right there. But how we get to do things for free uh, when we get to new towns and different states. So before we ever hit the road full time, Sh Shannon and I were content creators. So um, she has her blog like she still does. Uh, we did a lot of working with companies and building up a little portfolio. Um, whenever we went, just say on a regular vacation, we wrote it up. We did video on it, we took pictures on it, and we made like media kits before we ever hit the road. Um, and what we do now is when we do get to a new town, we hit up the tourism department of each city, like Galveston right now. So Shannon is inside that building right there, and she's picking up a package uh, from the Galveston tourism department. And it usually has a few things in there. Some give you more than others, but it'll have like some museum tickets or some zoo tickets um, or aquarium tickets or whatever like their attractions are. Um, we'll have some tickets. So like Gulf Shores really hooked it up. Gulf Shores, Alabama, they gave us like six full dinners, full dinners like for free um, with tips paid for. They gave us like they gave us a ton of stuff. And then other smaller cities uh, do a little bit less. Um, but what we try to do is work for the tourism department and just say, hey, what do you guys want us to see? And then we'll build content around that. So these types of things, we don't get paid to do this, but we do get whatever the adventure is comps. So do you get it? Oh, got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> so like in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee, um, we got to go to Ruby Falls and um, Rock City and all of that was comped. And um, in return, they asked for footage and and almost like a media kit. And then Shannon does a write up and we try and do some video about it, just showing you guys what's going on. So we don't get paid for it, but that's how we're able to do things for free. Uh, we've had people write in and call us and say, hey, are you guys just independently wealthy that you can like live on the road and just do everything for free? And no, we're not. We just have a backlog of of media kits and content that we can put together and show these companies that hey we have value to offer and if you want to work with us then we would love to work with you uh, and with your tourism department so Shannon is gonna open this up That's and she's gonna show you what we got for this particular town sometimes they give you like gift baskets sometimes it's just a simple envelope and it's got it yeah. usually has some you know information in there like you know, obviously this stuff right here but let me see one of those yes oh, okay so it's got all these places on the map. all right so we're able to go to all these places mm -hmm. so these are the places that this is basically a little pass right yeah and this pass lets us get into all of these museums uh what is this a few tours a theater galveston island convention and visitors bureau so this is basically a VIP card. It has uh, Shannon's name on there and the other one. It's the same thing. Oh, it just has Shannon's name on there twice. And uh, yeah, so basically it's just a pass really to go to any of these places. And then we get to check it out and see what this town's all about. So this town, Galveston, they want to obviously focus more on like their museums and the history and like some mansions and things like that. Whereas a town like Gulf Shores, they really wanted to focus on their restaurants, and that's pretty much it, right? So they really just want to focus on the restaurants. So every tourism department is different, but that's how we're able to do some stuff for free. Now, because they didn't really provide restaurants for us to go check out, uh, more of just like their history museums, uh, when we do go out, obviously, we will be paying for our meals at most places. Um, yeah, pretty much most places, but anyways, if that's how you're wondering, that's how we're able to do things for free Yeah. while on the road. <laughs> Hope that helped you, and if you are traveling, my only advice to you guys is nothing makes you entitled to be able to get anything for free. Mm -hmm. You really have to show that like you're good at what you do, and you have documentation <laughs> that you've done this before, even if it's paid stuff, you know, like, if you want to work for a company, you can't go you know ask them for their product and then ask them to be on their team you just got to start using their stuff start showing you know that you can give value towards their efforts and their marketing and then a lot of times if you can prove that companies will want to work with you right yes and my other tip is to gain an authentic audience who cares about what you're talking about 
Um, so that's one of the things they'll look for too, is they want to know, you know, if you're a travel blogger or blogger or whatever you do, they want to know that you have people watching who are interested in that as well. So get in touch with other people, grow your audience of other people who are traveling or who aspire to travel and that'll help you a lot. All right, so that's your tip on how, or how to do things. I don't know what this video is, but the reason for this video is to tell you guys how we're able to do some things for free. It's not everything that we get to do, but that's how we get to do some things for free. So if that's something you want to do, build a portfolio, build value. You're not entitled to anything, but build those different, you know, social media outlets and blog outlets and video outlets and all those things. Build those up, build those up, and then... Uh, maybe you can work with some companies on on these types of projects so thanks for watching guys and we'll be sure to post some videos soon